In this Sprocket tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to download tanks and add them to your library. Now, it's actually a lot easier than it sounds, so don't go anywhere. And this is just a small selection of some of the vehicles you're gonna be downloading in today's Sprocket tutorial. Now, this video is going to be split into two different sections. First of all, how to unlock all of the scenario tanks that are already within the game. And then secondly, how to download tanks off the internet or just ones that your friends have sent to you. And of course, all of that will be timestamped down below. Now on to the first part of this tutorial, which is unlocking the pre-existing vehicles within the game. Now the easiest way to access your files is to come to your Steam homepage and then right click on your sprocket and click properties. Once you've clicked properties, you will get a box that pops up and simply scroll down to local files. Now from your local files, come over to browse, open that and I will automatically open your files. Alternatively, as you can see the address up here, you could go program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then Sprocket, and that will also get you to your destination. Now, this bit is quite straightforward. All we've got to do is open Sprocket data. From within Sprocket data, we then go to streaming assets, and then straight away, you can see blueprints right there, and then we open vehicles. Now, this is going to bring up all the different scenario vehicles, which we are then going to copy and paste into our own personal files so that the game thinks that we've made these tanks. But before we can copy these files in, we first need need to know where we're sending them. For the time being, leave this file open and drag in a new window. And once we've got this window up, we need to locate our My Games folder. Now, mine is saved in my documents. I assume yours will be the same. But if you've intentionally saved that elsewhere, then all you've got to do is locate that and open it. And here we go. We're going to open up our My Games folder. And obviously, we're looking for Sprocket. So we're then going to open that. And once we're in this file, we're then going to go Factions, Default, blueprints and then vehicles and voila we have found ourselves the blueprints folder now if you remember we left this other window open and this is all of the scenario specific vehicles within sprocket now all we've got to do is open up each one of these files and copy and paste each one of these documents into our own vehicle blueprints now make sure you're copy and pasting these over and not actually deleting them out of this file because if you delete them then these vehicles will no longer show up in the scenarios. And all you've got to do is go through all of these different vehicles here, copying in the ones that you want. If there's some you don't want, then don't copy them in. Now, I suspect some of the vehicles you guys might be interested in might be the King Tiger and the Panther. So, for example, we would just control C and control V, and now we can play with the King Tiger. And of course, you want to validate that that has worked and that you do in fact have the King Tiger. So, open up your sandbox game mode, and you're gonna come all the way up to the top, all the way up here and select this wee icon here and then of course you're gonna scroll down and what you will be able to see as you go down will be the king tiger now one thing to bear in mind when you're downloading these vehicles you're not downloading the profile jpeg that goes with them so they're not actually gonna have an icon that's attached to them like these standard vehicles here would but that doesn't really matter we're not really interested in the picture we are interested in the king tiger and of course just to show you that this works we are now gonna hop into our King Tiger that we've just downloaded from the game files and we can now take this puppy for a spin and it's every bit as majestic as I wanted it to be. And just to show you what this guy can do, we are gonna traverse around and we're gonna take a pot shot at that artillery for no apparent reason. There we go. Quite underwhelming to be honest, but that's not what we're here for. We are here to download new sprocket tanks. Now moving on to the second part of this sprocket tutorial, I'm now gonna show you how to download vehicles made by other people and add them into your game files. Now, once again, we're going to come over onto the Sprocket Steam page over here, and we're actually going to head over to Guides. Now, once we've opened Guides, this is going to pop up a brilliant window, which I would recommend checking out frequently because this will be getting updated. From this page, we're going to head over to Modding or Configuration and select that, and that's going to pop us into this brand new page, which is going to be getting filled with download links for tanks that you guys have made on your own Sprocket account. An example of that that you have already seen me use in today's Sprocket tutorial would be the Allied Italian Forces pack. If I select this, you will see it's going to open up a lovely little page here and it is immediately going to give us a list of the tanks that are in this pack, what the characteristics of this vehicle are, and it is of course going to give us a very helpful download link. And here is another example of another one of these tank packs that you can download and add to your game. And having had a look at the vehicles, we've decided that we are happy with 
the vehicles in this pack. So we're going to click on this download link to get these vehicles. And at this point, you haven't actually downloaded anything. So you can just look at the files that you're expecting to download and double check that they all look pretty reasonable. Now there's a readme.txt and there's also three different vehicles, which are the three vehicles we just saw. Now for each of the vehicles you download, there will be two separate files. You have to download each of them. You can just slap them in together. It's not a problem, but you can expect to see a blueprint file and a BP meta file, which is basically the characteristics and statistics of the vehicle. So we're happy with this tank pack. So I'm going to go ahead and click download. It's automatically going to come and download for me. And once you've downloaded the files, you just need to then locate your downloads file. Mine is this PC and then downloads. And as we can see, I have my download right here, but we first need to extract it before I can use it. And to extract this file, all I'm going to do is right click on it and I'm going to go extract two. And if we open that file, you can see we now have our tank files. But just like last time, these tank files mean nothing on their own. So we now have to locate the area that we're going to actually add these into. Now we're going to be using this window in just a moment. So leave that there and open up a second window. And just like last time from this window, you need to locate your documents file, which mine is in this PC. From there, we're going to access our my games. We're going to go sprocket, factions, default, blueprints, vehicles. And once again, it's going to take us back to all of the vehicles that we have got in our sprocket library. Now the keen eyes amongst you might notice that we have got these six files in here already because I've already been using them in the game. And that is exactly what these six files are right here. So if it's you and you haven't yet got these files in, then once again, you could just select all of these files and drag them in, or you could copy and paste them into the game. Now, obviously there are going to be other ways of getting these files and eventually there will probably be a workshop for Sprocket, but there isn't one yet. But if you want to get some of these game files off your friends, then all you've got to do is get them to access this folder down here, which will have all of their tanks in it. And then they could select the tanks they want to send to you. They could email them to you. You could even WhatsApp them if you want to. And then all you've got to do is add them into your file and then you can play their vehicles as well. Now, just like last time, I'm going to prove to you that this works by loading back up the game and playing in those downloaded vehicles. Okay, we are back in the Sprocket main menu. I'm going to select scenarios and I'm going to go right down to the bottom down here and I'm going to open that one up. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be selecting one of those lovely new tanks that we just downloaded and I'm going to select the AMX 73A. And as you can see, there it is. We just downloaded this and only just added it to the game. So if this was my friend's vehicle that had just sent me, we'd be seeing his vehicle. Now, again, just a quick reminder that whilst we're sending all of the vehicles data and also the vehicle itself, we're not sending the profiles in JPEG format. So we're not actually going to be able to see the icons for each of these vehicles like we might have been able to do for the original vehicles, like for example, this Centurion. But we're not too concerned about that. We're going to hop back into our tank and we're going to take this for a spin against a bunch of King Tigers. And right away, you can already see no problems whatsoever. I just downloaded a vehicle and away I go. Now, I hope you'll agree that that was pretty straightforward. It was not too difficult. I do hope that there will be a Sprocket Steam Workshop that does come out at some point. Is that too low? Is that going to hit? Let's see if we can land this shot here. Come on. Oh, come on. I'm not doing anything. Bruh. Oh, bro, that's not good. Okay, I am dead. But there you go. That is how to download tanks in Sprocket. Now, there's actually one more thing to cover. In the first section, I showed you how to unlock the pre-existing tanks within the game. And in the second section, I showed you how to add custom vehicles as well. But we're going to very briefly talk about a small third section. Now that we know how to download other people's vehicles to the game, we can actually add these vehicles into the scenarios ourselves. For example, example, if we're playing a battle that has late war heavies enabled and we want to put in our own custom tanks to actually pop up against us in that scenario, then we can also do that using the game files that we just downloaded. Now, quite simply, I'm going to select the AMX 72. I'm going to control C and then I'm going to control V. And what's happened there is now when we fight late war heavies, we're not just going to fight the King Tiger and also the Panther. We're now also going to be facing the AMX 
Deck 72. So using this mechanic, you can actually flood your different scenarios with whatever tanks you want. If you wanted to recreate the Battle of Kursk, you could flood one scenario with a bunch of German and Russian vehicles. It just basically gives you that level of customization that will probably be in the game at some point anyway. Now it's time for me to give credit where credit is due. If I come back into guides, I only figured out how to do this Brocket tutorial because of this post by this guy right here. If we open up this post, you can see in great detail that he's gone through step by step everything you need to do to get this working. So if you've watched this tutorial and it's still not making sense to you, then come to this post right here and hopefully that will allow you to figure it out because it certainly did for me. And if you want to see more Sprocket on the channel, then make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. All that good stuff until next time.